Imagine you're standing on the edge of a cliff. Your heart races, palms sweat, and every instinct screams at you to step back. But what if I told you that jumping off that cliff is exactly what you need to do to become the successful entrepreneur you've always dreamed of being? That's right. The most successful entrepreneurs in the world have one thing in common. They take leaps that terrify others. They embrace the fear, the uncertainty, and the risk. They act as if success is inevitable, even when everything around them suggests otherwise. Now, I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Picture yourself as that successful entrepreneur you aspire to be. What does your day look like? How do you carry yourself? What decisions are you making? How does it feel to be in your skin? To yak in your eyes. That version of you isn't some distant dream. It's not locked away in some far off future. That successful entrepreneur is you right here, right now. The only difference between where you are and where you want to be is your mindset and your actions. But here's the shocking truth. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's vividly imagined. When you consistently act as if you're already successful, your brain begins to create new neural pathways. It starts to rewire itself to align with this new reality you're creating. Think about it. How many times have you heard stories of entrepreneurs who started with nothing but acted as if they were running million dollar companies? They dressed the part, spoke the part, made decisions as if they were already at the top of their game. And guess what? Reality eventually caught up with their vision. This isn't some feel good nonsense. This is neuroscience. This is the power of neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. When you consistently think, feel, and act like a successful entrepreneur, you're literally reshaping your brain to support that reality. But let me be cleases. This isn't about fake it till you make it. This is about embodying the version of yourself that already exists within you. It's about tapping into your potential and bringing it to the forefront of your reality. Now you might be thinking, but I'm not there yet. I don't have the resources, the network, the experience. And that's exactly where most people get stuck. They wait for the perfect conditions before they start acting like a success. But successful entrepreneurs, they create the conditions they need by acting as if those conditions already exist. Consider this. What would a successful entrepreneur do in your situation right now? How would they approach the challenges you're facing? What decisions would they make? What risks would they take? These aren't rhetorical questions. I want you to really think about them because the moment you start answering these questions and acting on those answers, you begin the transformation. Remember, every single successful entrepreneur you admire started exactly where you are. They weren't born successful. They became successful by thinking, feeling, and acting in alignment with their vision of success. I challenge you. For the next 30 days, commit to acting as if you're already the successful entrepreneur you want to be. Make decisions from that mindset. Carry yourself with that confidence. Approach challenges with that resourcefulness. Will it feel uncomfortable? Absolutely. Will it push you out of your comfort zone? You bet. But that discomfort is the feeling of your old self-making way for your new successful self. As we dive deeper into this concept, we'll explore the specific techniques and practices that will help you rewire your brain for success. We'll delve into the power of visualization, the importance of your daily habits, and the strategies for overcoming the obstacles that will inevitably arise on your journey. But remember, knowledge without action is useless. As you listen to what follows, I want you to be thinking about how you can apply these principles in your life starting today. Because the successful entrepreneur you dream of becoming isn't waiting for you in some distant future. That successful entrepreneur is within you right now, waiting for you to embody them. Are you ready to take that leap? Are you ready to act as if your success is inevitable? Because once you make that shift, once you truly embody the successful entrepreneur within you, the world will have no choice but to respond to the new reality you're creating. Now that we've embraced the concept of acting as if we're already successful entrepreneurs, let's dive deeper into the engine that drives this transfer mess, the power of belief and visualization. These aren't just feel good concepts, they're the fundamental tools that shape our reality. What do you truly believe about your ability to succeed as an entrepreneur? Do you believe success is possible for you? Do you believe you have what it takes? Your honest answer to these questions is shaping your reality right now, whether you realize it or not. 
You see, our beliefs act as filters through which we perceive the world. They influence our thoughts, our emotions, and ultimately our actions. If you believe deep down that success is out of your reach, you'll subconsciously sabotage your efforts. You'll see obstacles where others see opportunities. You'll hesitate when you should act. You'll play small when you should be thinking big, but not set in stone. They're not handed down to us from on high. We create them and we have the power to change them. And when we change our beliefs, we change our reality. So how do we cultivate beliefs that support our success as entrepreneurs? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to your self-talk. What stories are you telling yourself about your abilities, your potential, your future? Are these stories serving you or are they holding you back? Once you're aware of your limiting beliefs, you can begin to challenge them. Ask yourself, is this belief based on fact or is it just an assumption I've been carrying around? What evidence can I find that contradicts this belief? What would be possible if I chose to believe the opposite? But changing beliefs isn't just an intellectual exercise. It's an experiential one. This is where visualization comes in. Visualization is the process of creating vivid, detailed mental images of what you want to achieve. It's like a mental rehearsal for success. When you visualize yourself as a successful entrepreneur, you're not just daydreaming. You're actually creating new neural pathways in your brain. You're programming your mind for success. The more detailed and emotionally charged your visualizations, the more powerful their effect. So close your eyes for a moment. Imagine yourself five years from now, having achieved the entrepreneurial success you're striving for. What does your day look like? Where are you? What are you wearing? Who are you talking to? What decisions are you making? How does it feel to be in your body? Make this vision as vivid and detailed as possible. Engage all your senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? What can you touch? And most importantly, how do you feel? Allow yourself to fully experience the emotions of success, the pride, the joy, the sense of accomplishment. You need to practice this visualization regularly. Just like you wouldn't expect to build muscle by going to the gym once, you can't expect to rewire your brain with a single visualization session. Make this a daily practice. Dedicate at least 10, 15 minutes each day to visualizing your success in vivid detail. But visualization alone isn't enough. You need to combine it with emotion. Emotion is the fuel that powers your visualizations and makes them stick. When you can feel the emotions of success, the excitement, the pride, the sense of accomplishment, you're sending a powerful signal to your subconscious mind that this is your new reality. And here's where it gets really interesting. Your subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between what's vividly imagined and what's real. When you consistently visualize success with strong emotion, your subconscious begins to accept this as your reality. And when that happens, it starts to work tirelessly to bring that vision into your physical reality. Think about that for a moment. By consistently visualizing your success as an entrepreneur, you're essentially giving your subconscious mind a blueprint to work from. You're programming it to recognize opportunities, to come up with creative solutions, to push you to take the actions necessary to achieve your vision. But there's a catch. Your visualizations need to be believable. If there's too big a gap between your current reality and what you're visualizing, your subconscious will reject it as fantasy. This is where the concept of incremental belief shifts comes in. Start by visualizing a level of success that feels just beyond your current reach, but still believable. As you start to see results and your belief grows, gradually expand your vision. It's like working out. You don't start by trying to lift the heaviest weights in the gym. You start with what you can manage and progressively increase the challenge. Now let's talk about the science behind this. When you visualize, you're activating the same neural networks in your brain that you would use when actually performing the visualized action. This is why visualization is so powerful for athletes. When they visualize performing their sport, they're strengthening the same neural pathways they use during actual performance. The same principle applies to entrepreneurship. When you visualize yourself making confident decisions, leading a team, closing big deals, you're strengthening those neural pathways. You're literally rewiring your brain for success. But here's where many people go wrong with Visualize N. They treat it as a passive exercise. They visualize success, and then they wait for it to magically appear. That's not how it works. Visualization is a tool to inspire action, not a substitute for it. 
When you visualize success, pay attention to the actions you see yourself taking in that vision. What steps did you take to get there? What habits did you cultivate? What skills did you develop? These are the clues that will guide your actions in the real world. It brings us to a crucial point. The alignment of your beliefs, your visualizations, and your actions. If you believe you can succeed, visualize that success vividly, but then fail to take action in the real world, you're creating cognitive dissonance. Your subconscious will start to doubt the reality of your visualizations. On the other hand, when your beliefs, visualizations, and actions are all aligned, you create a powerful synergy. Your beliefs fuel your visualizations, your visualizations inspire your actions, and your actions reinforce your beliefs. It's a self-reinforcing cycle that propels you towards your goals. So how do you put this into practice? Start by setting aside time each day for visualization. Make it a non-negotiable part of your routine, just like brushing your teeth or eating breakfast. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed, close your eyes, and immerse yourself in your vision of success. But don't stop there. After each visualization session, ask yourself, what's one action I can take today that aligns with this vision? It could be something as simple as reaching out to a potential mentor, or as challenging as pitching your idea to an investor. The key is to take consistent action that moves you towards your visualized success. Remember the goal isn't to perfectly replicate your visualization in reality. The goal is to use your visualization as a compass, guiding your decisions and actions in the real world. To be flexible and open to opportunities that might not look exactly like what you visualized, but still move you towards your ultimate goal. As you practice this, you'll likely encounter resistance. Your old beliefs and habits will try to reassert themselves. This is normal. In fact, it's a sign that you're making progress. When you feel this resistance, remind yourself that it's just your brain trying to maintain the status quo. Thank it for trying to protect you, but firmly choose to move forward with your new beliefs and actions. And here's a powerful technique to overcome this resistance. Use your visualization to create a strong emotional state and then immediately take action from that state. For example, after visualizing yourself confidently pitching your idea to investors, immediately draft that pitch email you've been putting off. The emotional momentum from your visualization will help you push through the resistance. As you continue this practice, you'll start to notice changes. You'll find yourself naturally thinking and acting more like the successful entrepreneur you're visualizing, you'll start attracting opportunities that align with your vision. You'll handle challenges with more confidence and creativity. But perhaps most importantly, you'll start to experience the joy and fulfillment of entrepreneurship in the present moment, not just in some imagined future. Because when you truly believe in your ability to succeed, when you can vividly see and feel that success, you bring the emotions of that future success into your present reality. And that, my friends, is the true power of belief and visualization. It's not just about achieving some future goal. It's about transforming your experience of the present moment. It's about becoming the person who can achieve that goal right here, right now. Start today. Define your vision of entrepreneurial success. Believe in it wholeheartedly. Visualize it vividly. And then take bold, inspired action to bring that vision into reality. Because when you combine unwavering belief, crystal clear visualization, and consistent action, there's no limit to what you can achieve. We've explored the power of belief in visualization. But now it's time to take it a step further. Let's delve into the fascinating world of neuroplasticity and discover how we can literally rewire our brains for entrepreneurial success. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly attract success? while others struggle despite their best efforts? The answer lies not in external circumstances, but in the intricate wiring of our brains. The exciting news is that this wiring isn't fixed. Your brain is constantly changing, adapting, and rewiring itself based on your thoughts, experiences, and act. This ability of the brain to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections is called neuroplasticity. It's the brain's superpower, and it's the key to transforming yourself into the successful entrepreneur you envision. Think of your brain as a vast network of highways. The thoughts and behaviors you repeat most often are like well-traveled roads, easy, automatic, requiring little conscious effort. 
These are your habits, your default responses, your comfort zone. But what if these well-worn paths aren't leading you to success? What if they're keeping you stuck in patterns that don't serve your entrepreneurial ambitions? She's where it gets exciting. You have the power to create new roads. Every time you think a new thought, practice a new skill, or engage in a new behavior, you're carving out a new neural pathway. At first, it might feel difficult like hacking through dense jungle, but with repetition, that path becomes clearer, wider, easier to travel. This is how you rewire your brain for success. You consciously choose thoughts, emotions, and behaviors aligned with your vision of success, and you repeat them until they become your new default. Let's make this concrete. What are the thought patterns of a successful entrepreneur? They might include, I see opportunities where others see obstacles. I learn and grow from every experience. I'm resourceful and always find a way. I'm worthy of success and abundance. Now, be honest with yourself. How often do you think these thoughts, if they're not your current default, that's okay? Remember, you have the power to change that. Start by consciously choosing these thoughts. Repeat them to yourself throughout the day. Write them down. Speak them aloud. The more you repeat them, the stronger those neural pathways become. But thoughts alone aren't enough. Emotion is the catalyst that speeds up this rewiring process. When you combine a thought with a strong emotion, you're essentially putting your brain on high alert saying, this is important, wire this in. So as you repeat these success-oriented thoughts, allow yourself to feel the corresponding emotions. Feel the excitement of seeing opportunities everywhere. Feel the pride of learning and growing. Feel the confidence of knowing you're resourceful. Feel the worthiness of success and abundance. Now, let's talk about behaviors. What actions do successful entrepreneurs consistently take? They might set clear goals, prioritize ruthlessly, seek out mentors, take calculated risks, persist in the face of setback. Again, if these aren't your current habits, that's okay. Start small. Choose one success-oriented behavior and commit to practicing it daily. Remember, repetition is key. It's not about perfection. It's about consistency. Every time you repeat a thought, feeling, or action aligned with your vision of success, you're strengthening those neural pathways. You're literally rewiring your brain. But here's where many people get tripped up. They underestimate the power of their environment. Your brain is constantly taking cues from your surroundings. If your environment doesn't support your new success-oriented wiring, you're fighting an uphill battle. So take a hard look at your environment. What in your physical space supports your vision of success? What doesn't? Who in your life uplifts and inspires you? Who drags you down? What media are you consuming? Is it feeding your entrepreneurial mindset or undermining it? Don't be afraid to make changes. Declutter your space to create an environment that feels successful. Surround yourself with images and objects that remind you of your goals. Seek out relationships that support your growth. Curate your media consumption to feed your mind with success-oriented content. Now, let's talk about a powerful tool for rewiring your brain meditation. When you meditate, you're not just relaxing, you're actually changing the structure and function of your brain. Regular meditation has been shown to increase gray matter in areas of the brain associated with learning, memory, and emotional regulation. All crucial skills for entrepreneurs. But we're not talking about just any kind of meditation. We're talking about a specific form of meditation that combines visualization with emotion. Here's how it works. Start by getting into a relaxed state. Close your eyes, take deep breaths, and allow your body to relax. Now visualize yourself as the successful entrepreneur you want to be. See yourself in vivid detail engaging in the activities of your ideal day. Feel the emotions associated with this success. The pride, the joy, the sense of fulfillment. As you do this, you're not just daydreaming. You're actively rewiring your brain. You're strengthening the neural pathways associated with success. You're training your brain to recognize and create opportunities aligned with your vision. Do this for at least 15 minutes a day every day. Consistency is key. It might feel awkward or uncomfortable at first, but remember, you're carving out new neural pathways. With practice, it will become easier and more natural. But meditation alone isn't enough. You need to bridge the gap between your meditative state and your waking life. 
This is where mindfulness comes in. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and aware in each moment. As you go about your day, practice catching yourself in old thought patterns or behaviors that don't serve your vision of success. When you notice these, don't judge yourself. Simply acknowledge them, then consciously choose a thought or action aligned with your successful entrepreneur self. This might feel strange at first, like you're pretending to be someone you're not. But remember, you're not pretending, you're becoming, you're actively rewiring your brain to align with your vision of success. For Ali now, this address the elephant in the room, Sophia, as you embark on this journey of rewiring your brain, you'll inevitably encounter fear. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown. This is normal. In fact, it's a good sign. It means you're pushing beyond your comfort zone. The thing about fear is such a signal from your brain alerting you to potential danger. In our ancestors' time, this danger was often physical and immediate. But in our entrepreneurial journey, the danger is often just the risk of change, of the unfamiliar. So when fear arises, don't try to suppress it. Instead, thank your brain for trying to protect you, then choose to move forward anyway. Each time you do this, you're rewiring your brain to associate stepping out of your comfort zone with growth and opportunity rather than danger. Another powerful tool for rewiring your brain is gratitude. When you consistently focus on what you're grateful for, you're training your brain to notice the positive aspects of your life and business. This doesn't mean ignoring challenges or problems. It means consciously choosing to also acknowledge what's going well. Start and end each day by listing three things you're grateful for in your entrepreneurial journey. Maybe it's a lesson learned from a setback, a small win or an opportunity that came your way. As you do this consistently, you're rewiring your brain to naturally focus on opportunities and solutions rather than problems and limitations. Now let's talk about the power of questions. The questions you habitually ask yourself shape your focus and consequently your reality. Many aspiring entrepreneurs ask themselves disempowering questions like, why is this so hard? Or what if I fail? These questions direct your brain to focus on difficulties and potential failures. Instead, train yourself to ask empowering questions. What can I learn from this challenge? How can I turn this obstacle into an opportunity? What would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? These questions direct your brain to focus on solutions, growth, and possibilities. Make it a habit to consciously ask yourself empowering questions throughout your day. Write them down and keep them visible. The more you do this, the more natural it will become, and the more your brain will automatically seek out positive solutions and opportunities. Remember, rewiring your brain is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. Your brain is plastic, always changing. The key is to consciously direct that change towards your vision of success. This process requires patience and persistence. You're not just changing a few habits. You're reshaping the very organ that controls your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. It takes time. But with consistent practice, you'll start to notice change you'll find yourself naturally thinking more like a successful entrepreneur. You'll start to see opportunities where before you saw only obstacles. You'll handle setbacks with more resilience and creativity. You'll make decisions with more confidence and clarity. And here's the beautiful thing. As your brain rewires itself for success, your external reality will begin to change to match your new internal wiring you'll start attracting opportunities aligned with your vision. You'll find yourself taking actions that lead to success almost effortlessly. This is the power of neuroplasticity. This is how you become the successful entrepreneur you envision, not by waiting for success to magically appear, but by consciously rewiring your brain to embody the thoughts, emotions, and behaviors of success to sound use. Commit to this process of rewiring your brain Practice the techniques we've discussed, visualization, meditation, mindfulness, gratitude, empowering questions. Do it consistently every day. Trust the process, even when you don't see immediate results. Remember every thought, every emotion, every action is either reinforcing your old wiring or creating new success-oriented pathways. Choose wisely. Choose consistently. Choose to rewire your brain for the entrepreneurial success you desire and deserve. Your brain is the most powerful tool you have. It's time to harness its full potential. It's time to rewire for success. The successful entrepreneur you dream of becoming is already within you. 
It's time to bring that version of yourself to life one neural pathway at a time. Now that we've explored the power of belief, visualization, and rewiring your brain for success, let's dive into the daily practices that turn these concepts into tangible results. What separates the dreamers from the doers? What daily habits set successful entrepreneurs apart from those who merely wish for success? The truth is entrepreneurial success isn't born from sporadic bursts of inspiration or luck. It's cultivated through consistent, deliberate actions performed day in and day out. These daily practices are the bridge between your vision of success and its realization. They're the tangible steps that transform your rewired brain into real-world achievements. Let's start with the cornerstone of any successful entrepreneur's day. The morning routine. How you begin your day sets the tone for everything that follows. Successful entrepreneurs don't leave their mornings to chance. They design them with intention. Imagine waking up before the sun rises. The world is quiet, still full of possibility. This is your time to set the stage for success. Many top entrepreneurs swear by an early start. Using these precious morning hours to focus on personal growth and strategic thinking before the demands of the day take over. But it's not just about waking up early. It's about what you do with that time. A powerful morning routine might include meditation to center your mind, exercise to energize your body, and journaling to clarify your thoughts and intentions for the day ahead. Consider starting your day with a gratitude practice. Spend five minutes writing down three things you're grateful for in your business and personal life. This simple act trains your brain to focus on opportunities rather than obstacles, abundance rather than scarcity. Next, review your goals. Not just your long-term vision, but your specific objectives for the day and week ahead. Successful entrepreneurs are crystal clear about what they want to achieve and why. They don't just have vague aspirations. They have concrete, measurable goals that they review and refine regularly. Now here's a practice that might surprise you. Many successful entrepreneurs make time for learning every single day. Whether it's reading a business book, listening to a podcast, or taking an online course, they're constantly expanding their knowledge and in a rapidly changing business landscape. Continuous learning isn't just beneficial, but learning without application is futile. That's why successful entrepreneurs also prioritize reflection and strategic thinking. They carve out time each day to step back from the day-to-day -day operations and think big picture. What's working well in my business? What isn't? What opportunities am I not seeing? What bold moves could catapult my business forward? This strategic thinking time is non-negotiable. It's easy to get caught up in the urgent tasks of the day and neglect the important work of shaping your business's future. Don't fall into this trap. Schedule this thinking time and protect it fiercely. Now let's talk about productivity. Successful entrepreneurs don't just work hard. They work smart. They understand that time is their most precious resource and they guard it zealously. One powerful practice is time blocking. Instead of reacting to whatever comes up during the day, they proactively schedule their time in focus blocks dedicated to specific tasks or types of work. For example, you might block out two hours in the morning for your most important strategic work when your mind is freshest. Then, you might schedule blocks for meetings, for responding to emails, for creative work, and so on. This approach ensures that your most crucial work gets done and prevents less important tasks from eating up your entire day. Another key practice is the art of saying no. Successful entrepreneurs understand that every yes to one thing is a no to something else. They're ruthlessly selective about what they commit to, always evaluating opportunities against their core goals and values. But it's not just about saying no to external requests. It's also about saying no to your own impulses and distractions. In our hyper-connected world, the ability to focus is a superpower. Many successful entrepreneurs practice periods of deep work, extended stretches of uninterrupted, highly focused effort. They turn off notifications, close unnecessary browser tabs, and dive deep into their most important work. Now, let's address a critical aspect that many aspiring entrepreneurs make self-care. The most successful entrepreneurs understand that they are their business's most valuable asset. They prioritize their physical and mental health as a non-negotiable part of their daily routine. This might include regular exercise, whether it's a morning run, a yoga session, or a gym workout. 
It might involve mindfulness practices like meditation or breath work to manage stress and maintain mental clarity. It definitely includes getting enough sleep. Many top entrepreneurs are religious about their sleep routines, understanding that a well-rested mind is a productive and creative mind. But self-care isn't just about physical health. It's also about maintaining relationships and pursuing interests outside of work. Successful entrepreneurs make time for family, friends, and hobbies. They understand that a well-rounded life fuels their entrepreneurial journey, providing fresh perspectives and emotional resilience. Another daily practice of successful entrepreneurs is networking and relationship building. They understand that no one succeeds in isolation. Every day they take actions to nurture their professional relationships. This might be as simple as sending a congratulatory email to a colleague, making an introduction between two contacts, or sharing a helpful resource with their network. They also make a habit of seeking out new connections. Whether it's attending industry events, engaging in online forums, or simply striking up conversations with interesting people they meet, they're always expanding their network. They know that their next big opportunity, partnership, or insight might come from an unexpected connection. Now let's talk about a practice that separates true entrepreneurs from wishful thinkers. Taking consistent, courageous action. Every single day, successful entrepreneurs do something to move their business forward. They don't wait for perfect conditions or complete certainty. They understand that clarity comes through action, not endless planning. This might mean making that scary sales call, sending that pitch email, or finally launching that product you've been perfecting. It means stepping out of your comfort zone regularly, embracing the discomfort of growth. Remember, every successful entrepreneur you admire once stood where you stand now. They weren't born successful. They became successful through consistent, deliberate practice of these daily habits. These aren't just activities to check off a list. They're practices to be engaged in mindfully, with full presence and intention. It's not about going through the motions. It's about fully embodying the identity of a successful entrepreneur in everything you do. As you adopt these practices, you'll likely face resistance. Your old habits and thought patterns will try to reassert themselves. This is normal. In fact, it's a sign that you're growing. When you feel this resistance, remind yourself of your vision. Reconnect with why you started this journey in the first place. And remember, progress, not perfection, is the goal. You don't need to implement all these practices perfectly from day one. Start with one or two that resonate most strongly with you. As they become habits, gradually add more. The key is consistency and patience. So over time, you'll notice a shift. These practices will become second nature. You'll find yourself naturally thinking, feeling, and acting like the successful entrepreneur you envision. Your external reality will begin to align with your internal vision. But don't stop there. The most successful entrepreneurs are always evolving, always refining their practices. They regularly assess what's working and what isn't, and they're not afraid to change course when needed. Start today. Choose one daily practice we've discussed and commit to it for the next 30 days. Maybe it's establishing a powerful morning routine. Maybe it's carving out time for strategic thinking. Maybe it's taking one courageous action each day to move your business forward. Whatever you choose, commit to it fully. Do it even when you don't feel like it. Do it especially when you don't feel like it because it's in those moments of resistance that real growth happens. Remember, success is not an event. It's not something that happens to you. It's something you create day by day through your habits and practices. Every day, you're either moving towards your vision of success or away from it. Every action, every thought, every decision is shaping your entrepreneurial journey. So choose wisely, choose consistently. Choose to embody the successful entrepreneur you know you can be starting right now today with your daily practices. The future of your business and your life, it depends on it. As we've journeyed through the power of belief, the art of rewiring our brains and the daily practices that shape entrepreneurial success, we've laid a strong foundation. But let's face it, the path of an entrepreneur is rarely smooth. It's filled with obstacles, setbacks, and moments that test your resolve. So now let's tackle the critical skill of overcoming obstacles and maintaining momentum even when the going gets tough. Picture this. You're climbing a mountain. You've prepared, you've trained, you've visualized reaching the summit, but 
halfway up, you hit a sheer cliff face. It seems impassable. What do you do? Do you turn back, defeated? Or do you see this obstacle as an opportunity to prove your resourcefulness, to elevate your skills to a new level? This, my friends, is the entrepreneur's dilemma. Obstacles are not just possible, they're inevitable. The question isn't whether you'll face challenges, but how you'll respond when you do. I start with a fundamental truth. Obstacles are not roadblocks. They're growth opportunities in disguise. Every problem you encounter is a chance to become a better, more skilled, more resilient entrepreneur. When you truly internalize this perspective, obstacles lose their power to derail you. Instead, they become exciting challenges to overcome. But how do we cultivate this mindset? It starts with reframing. When you hit an obstacle pause, take a deep breath, then ask yourself, what's the opportunity here? What can I learn from this? How will overcoming this challenge make me a stronger entrepreneur? This isn't about positive thinking or denying the reality of the situation. It's about choosing a perspective that empowers you rather than defeats you. It's about training your brain to see possibilities where others see only problems. Now let's talk about a crucial skill for overcoming obstacles. Problem solving, the, the most successful entrepreneurs are masterful problem solvers. They don't get stuck in complaining or blaming. They roll up their sleeves and get to work finding solutions. One powerful problem solving technique is the what if. Game, when faced with an obstacle, start generating what if. Questions, what if we approach this from a completely different angle? What if we had unlimited resources? What if we could start over from scratch? This technique helps break you out of limited thinking and opens up new possibilities. Another key strategy is to break big problems into smaller, manageable pieces. Often, when we're faced with a major obstacle, we feel overwhelmed. By breaking it down into smaller components, we can start making progress, which builds momentum and confidence. Remember, no obstacle is insurmountable. It may require creativity, perseverance, and perhaps a shift in strategy, but there's always a way forward. The key is to keep moving, to keep taking action, even if they're small steps. Now let's address a common pitfall, the tendency to go it alone. Many entrepreneurs, driven by self-reliance and a desire to prove themselves, try to tackle every challenge solo. But here's the truth. The most successful entrepreneurs know when to ask for help. Build a support network. This might include mentors, peers, coaches, or advisors. When you hit an obstacle, don't hesitate to reach out. Often, an outside perspective can illuminate solutions you couldn't see on your own. But support isn't just about problem solving. It's also about emotional resilience. Entrepreneurship can be a roller coaster with exhilarating highs and challenging lows. Having a support system to celebrate your wins and encourage you during tough times is invaluable. Now let's talk about failure. Yes, failure. It's a word that strikes fear into the hearts of many, but successful entrepreneurs have a different relationship with failure. They see it not as an end point, but as a stepping stone to success. When you encounter failure, and you will, it's part of the journey. Resist the urge to beat yourself up. Instead, approach it with curiosity. What can you learn from this experience? How can you use this knowledge to make your next attempt more successful? Remember, every successful entrepreneur you admire has a story of failure behind them. Often many stories. What sets them apart is not an absence of failure, but their response to it. They pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and try again armed with new knowledge and experience. This resilience in the face of setbacks is what maintains momentum over the long haul. It's not about never falling. It's about always getting back up. But how do you maintain this resilience? How do you keep pushing forward when things get tough? This is where your why comes in, your purpose, your driving motivation for being an entrepreneur in the first place. When obstacles seem insurmountable, when failure hits hard, reconnect with your why. Why did you start this journey? What impact do you want to make? Who are you serving? This bigger purpose can provide the fuel to keep going when things get tough. Write down your why and keep it visible. Read it every day. Let it be your North Star guiding you through the storms of entrepreneurship. Now let's talk about a critical skill for maintaining momentum. Managing your energy, entrepreneurship is a marathon, not a sprint. 
you need to pace yourself for the long haul. This means being strategic about where you focus your energy. Not all tasks are created equal. Learn to prioritize ruthlessly, focusing your best energy on the activities that move the needle in your business. It also means knowing when to push and when to rest. High performers in any field understand the importance of recovery. Build regular periods of rest and rejuvenation into your schedule. This isn't a luxury. It's a necessity for sustained high performance. Another key to maintaining momentum is celebrating your wins, no matter how small. In the grind of entrepreneurship, it's easy to always be focused on the next goal, the next challenge, but taking time to acknowledge and celebrate your progress, no matter how incremental, is crucial for maintain motivation and momentum. Set milestones along your journey and celebrate when you reach them. This could be as simple as treating yourself to a nice dinner when you land your first client or taking a day off when you hit a revenue target. These celebrations serve as fuel for the journey ahead. Fearful or fear of success, fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown. Fear is a natural part of the entrepreneurial journey. The key is not to eliminate fear, but to learn to act in spite of it. One powerful technique for overcoming fear is visualization. When you feel fear creeping in, close your eyes, visualize yourself successfully overcoming the challenge you're facing. See it in vivid detail. Feel the emotions of success. This primes your brain for success and helps you push through. Another strategy is to reframe fear as excitement. Physiologically, fear and excitement are very similar. By consciously choosing to interpret those physical sensations as excitement rather than fear, you can shift your emotional state from paralysis to Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear. It's feeling the fear and taking action anyway. Every time you do this, you're strengthening your courage muscle, making it easier to face the next challenge. Now, let's talk about a subtle but powerful obstacle. The plateau? There will be times in your entrepreneurial journey when progress seems to stall, you're working hard but not seeing results. See, this is where many entrepreneurs lose momentum and give up. But successful entrepreneurs understand that plateaus are a natural part of any growth journey. They're not a sign of failure. They're an invitation to level up. When you hit a plateau, it's time to shake things up. Try new strategies, seek out new knowledge. Maybe it's time to pivot or expand into new markets. Use the plateau as an opportunity for innovation and growth. Remember, the path to success is rarely a straight line. It's full of twists, turns, and yes, plateaus. The key is to keep moving forward, to keep learning, to keep growing. As we wrap up, I wanna leave you with this, this. The ability to overcome obstacles and maintain momentum isn't a trait you're born with. It's a skill you develop through practice. Every obstacle you face, every setback you overcome is making you a stronger, more resilient entrepreneur. So embrace the challenges, welcome the obstacles, see them for what they truly are, opportunities for growth, for learning, for becoming the successful entrepreneur you're meant to be. Remember, you have everything you need within you to overcome any obstacle in your path. You have the power to rewire your brain for success, to cultivate empowering beliefs, to implement powerful daily practices, and to maintain unwavering momentum towards your goals. The journey of entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart. It will test you. It will challenge you. It will demand the best of you. But it will also reward you with growth, fulfillment, and the exhilaration of creating something meaningful in the world. So step forward boldly. Face your obstacles head on. Maintain your momentum. And remember, with every challenge you overcome, you're not just building a business. You're becoming the person capable of achieving your grandest entrepreneurial dreams. The journey starts now with the very next obstacle you face. How will you rise to meet it?